Hello everyone. Welcome to UA Paths Tutorials. In the previous session, we have seen how to create a table. Now, in this session, we are going to learn how to insert a column into the table and how we are going to delete the column in the specified table which we have created. First of all, let me start with the scenario. If you see in our previous sessions, we have created a table with the name of marks. Now, if you want to delete, how can I go ahead and delete the particular column? Now I'm going to select the column over here. You can see only the specific column I'm going to selecting it. And then in the table, I'm going to select a particular column in the created table only. And then I'm going to delete that column. Okay. Now I'm going to select it and then I'm going to delete it. Table columns and I'm going to delete it. This is how we are going to delete it. If we want to insert, how can I go ahead and do that? Right click, insert, table columns to the left. Now, if you see, this is the column with the name, what are the name, default name coming as a column one and the remaining data, we're going to get it as blank. This is how we are going to insert the day, insert the column and deleting the columns. Now, if you observe over here, I'm going to insert only one column and I'm going to deleting only one column at a time and which is not affecting the remaining data. This is the beneficial of creating table. Let me switch to your path studio. I'm going to create a new sequence by clicking on right click and then add sequence. So in this session, what I'm going to insert and delete columns I'm going to do. I'm going to use these two activities, right? So that I'm going to give the name as insert and delete columns. Let me go ahead, let me create it. Now, as a first step, in the previous session, we have seen already how to create a table, right? Let me go ahead and let me do that. Create table. If you see, I have already created. Once again, if you're going to create it, it will throw an error saying that there no overlap will occur on the table. Now let me run it to, un to make you understand very easily. Let me run the same bot, which in the previous session we have created. Now you can see the error over here. A table cannot overlap on the other table. So once you have created a table, you can't overlap again by using the create table. Now already we have created a table so that we can just utilize them using the same session. Now what I'm going to do as a first step, I'm going to use Excel application scope. Let me drag and drop. And then I'm going to browse for the file under your student marks. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert the column as the first activity. If you mouse over on the insert, it will say insert a new column into a table. And if you are not mentioning any position, it if the, the column will be inserted at the end of the table. So that the mean, if you're not giving any position like zero, one, two, three like that, then it will be added at the end of this table. That is the meaning of this insert column. Okay, let me go ahead, let me do that. Let me drag and drop this insert onto the panel. And then we'll see the properties. If you see the properties, first one is the column name which column name that we need to add. Add in the sense, if you see, I want to add some column over here, that the column name, you're going to be mentioning it over there. Now I will give the name as total marks. And then the position. So if I'm going to see, let me start with, you can see the position, as, this one comes as zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the ninth position. I will give it as ninth position over here. Okay, now I'm going to give it as a nine. And the sheet name, I'm going to give it as sheet one. And the table name, where we can get this table name. If you go to the Excel, you can see the table names over here. You will get n number of tables if you're going to create it. Now, what I'm going to do, in the previous session, I have given you an Excel to create a table on these things. Now, myself, I'm going to create from the Excel. Now, if you see over here, I'm going to insert and creating a table and I'm going to say a uh, some name, let us assume, and you can see table three is the name. I'm having marks and all these things, right? Now, whenever you will select and go to the design, you can see the marks whenever you're going to select this that is coming as a table three. Now, what I'm going to do now, 
I'm going to work with the marks, right? Now I'm going to give the table name over here as marks. Let me explain you again. By using insert column, I'm going to insert it, insert a new column into the sheet one, which I have been defined in the create table. I'm going to add a new column with the names of total marks at position nine. Now you may ask one question. Now you are getting some doubt or not. I'm not sure. But what is the purpose of insert insert or delete columns that we have seen already? Right now, if you see over here in my processing, you can see insert or delete columns. What is the purpose of this thing? And what is the purpose of this activities? What is the difference for both things? I will explain you over here. If you are going to add entire you know by selecting entire and then you are going to add and inserting it is comes in the sheet purpose on the sheet way that you are going to work it out not on the specific uh, you know table which you have been created now by using insert column you are going to be working only on the table which you have created over here you are just going to work it out only in this created table not apart from that okay and if you want to delete the column also in the same way, you're going to be mentioning which table you want to delete the data or deleting the column, not on the entire sheet that you're going to be mentioning out. In simple way, insert or delete columns activity will be used for the entire sheet, whereas insert column will be used only the specific table which you have been created. And also, if you observe, in insert or delete columns activities, which we have seen at the processing, there you can give multiple rows at a time, number of rows or number of columns. You want to delete, uh, delete the columns, you can do that based on the uh, number you are going to give it. Let us assume if I want to delete three numbers, then I can go ahead and give the uh, things as three columns. Okay, but here you can see only one column you are going to insert and one column you are going to delete it at the given position. Now I hope you understand that one. Now let me go ahead, let me save it. Now what I'm going to do, let me go back to my sheet over here. Let me undo these changes. Now if you see, I don't have any columns over here. Now let me go ahead, let me run the bot. Now if you see, it has been executed successfully. Now can you see over here? It has been created a new column and it has been included into the table. Now you can see the total number of marks over here. It is a new column has been added and the data is blank. Okay, and one more disadvantage with the inserting and uh, it's not the disadvantage uh, that you can't give the names of the columns over there. Please go through my videos in the previous sessions which I have explained you so that you will get very clearly. Now you can see over here, the columns has been created. I hope you understand how to insert a new column along with the column name. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete a column. How can we go ahead and do that? For the time being, I'm going to disabling this activity. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag and drop delete column. If you see over here, when I mouse over on the delete column activity, it will says deletes a column table from a spreadsheet based on its name. Now let me drag and drop over here onto the do panel or do activity. Now we'll see the properties. The properties, the column name which you want to delete. Now let me go ahead and delete the class. Okay, let me select this column and then I'm going to mention it the column name as class over here and the table name we're having the marks right we have seen how we're going to get this name right now let me go ahead let me save it now what i'm going to i'm going to add the message box over here to know that one the process has been completed or not now let me go ahead i will simply say the properties uh, the value as process completed now let me go ahead, let me save it. Let me run the bot. Now if you observe the class is there, now within span of time that class has been deleted and you can see it is not affected to the remaining data. Okay. I hope you understand how to use insert column and delete column 
in uh, which we have been created by using create table thank you for watching uepos tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day